Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Mega Ampharos as a part of my kind of Mega Showcase, because if you haven't noticed, I've done a lot of Mega Showcases on the channel, and I've yet to do Ampharos. So yeah, let's just jump right into the game. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a commentary, because you can hear my voice. They have a Rapid Spinner, Excadrill. They're probably going to start with it, and it's unwise for me to start with a Galvantula, so I'm actually going to go to the Hitmontop here. Please? Was that right? Yep, there we go. Um, I don't think they're gonna stay in. Oh, they just left. Well, <laughs> easy win for the first game, guys. Uh, I clicked Rapid Spin just because in case they do come back, I don't think they're gonna... Oh, they did come back, yeah. I don't think Excadrill will stay in, or he's gonna Stealth Rocks. Oh, they went for Rapid Spin too. That's very interesting. We both have speed now, but I obviously have the advantage. I learned from my last time I used uh, Hitmontop, and that is, it has high jump kick instead of the close combat. Frankly, I'm willing to trade off the accuracy for the increased base power, and, you know, I'm not gonna miss. I never miss. It's not gonna miss. Yeah, see, I, I, I don't miss. Um, it's fine that he got the rocks up, because I have Rapid Spin anyway. I wanted to get the Excadrill out of here, because I do value the webs a lot. Dragonite is a, is a scary son of a bitch. I'm still slower, so... Hmm... Rapid, I want to get rid of the rocks, but at the same time, you know, I, uh, Triple Axe will just get rid of the Dragonite. I'm going to get rid of the Dragonite. It should kill, right? Yeah, it's definitely dead. Oh, 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 of course not. Of course not. Because this game hates me, you know? Uh, well, let's go for... <sighs> God damn it. God damn it, Beyblade. What the hell, man? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have priority on the Lycan Rock Dusk. As usual, if you want to see the team, go to the description down below and check out the team. Even in all my commentaries, I've, I've mentioned that you can go down to the description to check it before the battle even starts, and I get so many comments asking, Fred, can I have the paste? Can I see the team? Dog. <laughs> Watch the video, man, before you, like, start commenting stuff, you know? Uh, I get that not a lot of you, um, stay for the rest of the video, but... You know, it's in the beginning of the video. It's uh, uh, Surely you can't miss that. Uh, this is a Mega Ampharos, but I don't think I'm going to start with it. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to go into the Mega just yet, because, you know, in case a Dragon move is coming. I, I, I don't know why I did this. Earthquake is definitely coming, so... Oh, no, I was right. Okay, sweet. Well, down goes the Dragonite. The Dragonite should have died last turn, but Triple Axel decided to screw me in the ass. Uh, I'm going to Mega Evolve now and go for the Thunderbolt. Please, am I faster? Okay, yeah, uh, there's, there was no way that the Slowbro had speed investment. One of these days, oh, and we do win. Okay, but as I was saying, one of these days, I would love to see a Slowbro with max speed investment. Uh, but yeah, this was a quick game, so I think I'm going to do two more games, and let's get right into the next one. All right, we back, boys and girls, for the second battle. Uh, I see Mega Beedrill or Mega Scizor, but this is probably a Mega Beedrill. Who, who the hell runs a regular Beedrill? It just sucks. Uh, Prankster Pokemon scares me. Paralysis. I think they're gonna lead with the Clef Key. Yeah, I think they're gonna lead with, with spikes or maybe maybe some screens. Originally, I actually had um, Mr. Rhyme on this team and instead of the Beyblade Hitmontop on top here. Just because of the screen cleaner, it, it's really, really nice. But it's such a niche ability and I felt like the Intimidate would kind of work more often. Uh, I mean, who am I to talk about Pokemon strats, right? Because I'm using a, a literal meme team. Uh, this isn't obviously fully optimized. You can win a couple of games, but if you really want to climb and play sweats, uh, I I'm not the guy to go to. Unless you guys really want to see me try, but that's that's not fun. You know, I just want to have a bit of fun with Pokemon. That's probably going to set up, and I am scared. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave instead of the Sticky Web, just so I can... Yeah, perfect. Uh, now let's go for the Sticky Webs. Oh, that's, that's just great. Thank you. Let's go for a Thunder... Para? Maybe? 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 Yo? Hey, let's go! Okay, we land it. Yo, this game is awesome. Let's go for another Thunder. They do go for the, the Defog, but that, that's fine. You know, we, we can just set up webs again. Um, okay, their Defogger is gone. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave here, actually. I'm not gonna... Because I am Sash, unless they burn my ass with a Fire Blast. I swear to God. I swear to God, Spidar. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's go for the Sticky Webs. Down goes the spider, art, but I don't really need it anymore. I mean, it, uh, computer, stop lagging. But I don't really need it to hit any of these Pokemon, so I'm going to go for my Chandelure and Shadow Ball his ass, unless he has speed investment. Bulletproof? Is it bulletproof? 
Does it have bulletproof? It does have bulletproof. Okay. Um, well, he's going to set up. So I'm going to go for the, the Beyblade just to lower his attack a bit more. Let's see how this goes. I go for the Clangorous Soul Blaze. Ooh. Ooh, that really hurt. Okay, well, they don't have a speed increase. I'm going to go back to the Chandelure. No, because I need the fire move for the Scizor. It, it can hit the Chandelure, and it kills the Beedrill. And this, I actually do need to keep it. Damn, let's go for the Triple Axel. That's a special combo, so the Intimidate didn't actually do anything. Well, that's fine with me. Uh, for the first time in my life, I'm actually using Z moves, you know, other than using the setup of like Z Celebrate or Z Belly Drum. I had this Lycanroc here because the, the webs slow down all the all the Pokemon that don't have a Levitate or can't fly. So this is just a, a... I needed a strong Rock or Electric type to knock out a Flying type. But, you know, in this case, there's no Flying type. Um, this isn't great because... Ah, uh, shit. Should have given my Lycanroc Psychic moves, but my dumbass didn't. Does Fighting resist... Fight... Fighting resists rock, right? I, I can't remember. Let's let's check. Slash weak rock. Um, it doesn't resist. I mean, slash weak fighting. Oops. Uh, it does resist rock. Okay, so let's go for close combat. Uh, I think we've lost, actually. I, 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 the smarter thing to do would have been to go to the Uxie and hit him with a para. I think that's what I should do. But I'm not entirely sure. I... See, if I could get if I could go to the Sia, I can easily win this. Easily, I think. So I think I'm gonna go to the Yuxi, land a para, and then I should be faster with my with my Ampharos, right? Oh shit. Oh, okay. For some reason I thought that was scale shot, because you know the animation's really similar. I, I didn't read the text, but that that's great. Okay. Um Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave again. I Obviously, I, I was considering switching out, but he was going to go for Clang sc Scales again. I, di I did want to keep these two, but now I should be able to win. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to Mega Evolve, just... Hmm. I probably should, actually. Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh, shit. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have Mega Evolved. Yeah, I, I, my speed dropped. Uh, I, I, I botched that, I botched that. I just threw. I should have won. I, I think I really could have won that game, but you know what? It's whatever. You you win some, you lose some. Let's go for Dark Pulse, hope for that flinch. Don't flinch. Uh, GG Dugo or Doggo, whatever. Uh, if you're watching this, I'd like a rematch, but yeah, let's go into the final match. Final match, we're up against Weebow. Uh, we have a Defog. We have a Prankster that also might have Magic Bounce, because, you know, Mega Sableye, so... I'm gonna go for Spidar. Because they're predicting the Spidar, but they're predicting Thunder or Sticky Webs. I'm just gonna go for Thunder and you know deal deal a bit of damage to this thing. If they are Mega, um, it's fine with me. They lose their prankster, which is completely okay. But if they don't, that's fine. It's real, I swear. I don't get that reference, but oh well. You you, you get some and you don't get some, you know. That wasn't a saying. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> um but yeah. Oh, I forgot to hit him with that GLHF, but I forgot to do it in the last two games. How toxic of me. Um, if they're going to play sometime, that'd be great. Uh, that's probably a Scarf Moxie Crocodile. Set up Kling Clang. It's weird to see a Kling Clang on National decks because it, 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 it doesn't have a very wide move pool. Uh, Thundorus is a bit scary, but I'm seeing... Hmm... I'm just trying to think who's important to keep on my team. It's a Mega Sableye. It's fine with me. Um, okay, they go for the knockoff. I'm going to go for Thunder again, just because there's no reason not to. I don't really care about landing the Sticky Web, because the only Pokemon it affects is the Crocodile. This might this probably is Clear Body, so it doesn't affect it, and the, all the other Pokemon will levitate. And this thing is slow enough, so it doesn't matter. So let's hope for the Para. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Um... Well, I'm gonna go for Thunder again. There's, oh god, oh, come on, man! Ninety-one percent my ass. Thunder again. Let's go. Paralyze. Yep. There we go. Para, para. Nope. Okay. Um, since it is parrot, I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz and hope for the special defense drop. I know it's. Oh yes. Okay, that was a good play. Um, shit. Weakness policy. All right. Well, this thing's dead. 
Nice. Okay. I've never seen a weakness policy crocodile. Maybe it's common. Uh, maybe it's common on Nat Dex or OU or whatever tier it's on. I just don't play enough. I play a lot of random battles, so yeah. Cracker. Uh, is it like the cookie? Because that's the only, only meaning of cracker that I know, the, the cookie, right? Um, I don't get it. Okay, let's go for thunder. It's a choice scarfed uh, togekiss. Um, okay. Well, now that I know it's choice, I can just go into this. I should have had calm mind to set up, but I'm just thinking if I go into to the Chandelure, who is he going to go to? Probably the Rotom. And if they go to the Rotom, I should just use Energy Ball. Because I don't think they're going go to go to Thunderous. So I'm going to go for Energy Ball, predicting that he's going to go to the Rotom Wash. Right? Yeah, I think that's the best move to go for. Unless he goes for Flamethrower again. I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> Give me a Fire Boost. But I'm 90% sure he's going to go to Rotom Wash. If they don't go to Rotom, then it's going to be the Thunderous. I don't think they go to the Mega Sableye, because I think this thing is a valuable tank. They do go for the Thunderous. Um, we got BDSM Enthusiast. Don't Google it. Don't Google BDSM, kids. I know you're, you're just going to do it if I say don't, so I should use like reverse, reverse psychology, so I should encourage you to Google BDSM, if that makes sense. Let's go for Heat Wave. Eerie Impulse. What, are we on low ladder? Um... No, it's not. It's, like, decent. That did 38% HP. Um, did more than I thought it was going to do. Okay, let's just go for Heat Wave again, right? They're just going to go for Eerie Impulse again. Don't know what they're going for here, but if they're going to let me kill this thing, then sure. I, uh, <laughs> Thunderous is fast, and it scares the rest of my team, so... Um, perfect. The way I like to play is, like... If I have a chance of killing, I'll either keep sticking to one move, but since they know I'm life orbed and I've revealed multiple moves, I want to switch it up so that, you know, if, if they do decide to switch, I can do a little bit of random damage. Like, like the Sp Spydar, the Galvantula, when I used Bug Buzz and killed the Crocodile. That was, you know, that's my play style. Just in case you were wondering, what are they going to do? Air Slash? Ancient Power? So I'm going to go for Lycanroc here. Two birds, one stone. They do go for the Ancient Power. They don't mind the boost, which is fine with me. And I think I'm going to launch my Z-Power now, regardless of who they're going to switch to. If they go to the Kling Clang, I got close combat. And if they go to the Sableye, great, and do lots of damage, and I'm faster. So Rotom Wash is a good good choice, too, if they want to go to that. Um, yeah, uh, I think they might just sack this thing. Or they're going to go for Ancient Power again, because I don't think they need to keep it. Or unless they want to have a faster Pokemon than the rest of my team, but my, my team's relatively slow anyway. So, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm... Just wish this guy would play a little bit faster. But yeah, that's the problem with commentary, because, you know, you can't really... You can't really skip all these awkward bits of just no content happening, or no, no move moves happening, whatever's happening. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. I've said happening a lot of times. Uh, I'm gonna stop. Let's go for close combat. Down goes the Kling Clang, that's great. They're gonna go back to the Togekiss here. And Aura Sphere, perhaps? If they go to the Aura Sphere, then I just go to Chandelure. But if they go to anything else, I, I gotta think about it. Nope, they go to the Ro Rotom Wash, the Bleach Drinker. Um, I do want to keep this. It's an answer to the Togekiss and the Thunderous. So what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to go to the Ampharos and get the Mega off. He's going to Volt Switch. Nope, Hydro Pump. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's Mega Evolve and land the Thunderbolt. Uh, oh yeah, this thing doesn't have Volt Absorb anymore. Because it's in the... the is this the Therian form? No, the Therian form is the other one, I think. I don't remember, right? Gen 5. And Gen 5 and Gen 7 were blurs for me. Even though I did play Gen 5 all the way through. But I just don't remember that one very well. Uh, Togekiss comes back out. I... Ooh. This is a good Pokemon to keep, though, because it can tank hits from Rotom, so... The Pokemon I no longer need, to be honest, is the Beyblade. And I'm predicting that they're gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, so I'm just gonna sack the Beyblade. Yeah. Draining Kiss! 
All right. Um, it's okay with me. Um, let's go to Chandelure. I'm predicting the switch here to the Rotom, so I'm gonna go for Energy Ball here. No, they're just gonna go for Draining Kiss. It's fine with me, let's go for Heat Wave then. Ah, that does, that does. 18% <laughs> is quite a lot. Um, but yeah, if all goes well, we should be able to win this, right? My dumbass just doesn't have any priority, so this is gonna hurt my Lycanroc, but I should be okay if I can land. I'm not gonna go for Stone Edge, just because I'm, I'm probably gonna miss, so I'm gonna go for the Iron Head, unless, ooh, ooh, okay. All right, um, I'm gonna go for the, <sighs> Crunch does neutral damage. I wanna try and land a uh, Flinch, perhaps? No, I'm gonna go to this, predicting the Will-O-Wisp. Right? No, okay, they get parried, that's that's perfect. Let's go for Thunderbolt here. It'll do massive damage, because that's the only thing this Pokemon has going for it. I originally was going to run Agility on the Ampharos, but it was just, the base speed was just horrendous, and I didn't see a point. I, I wanted to keep, I wanted to give it more moves for more coverage, so I swapped out Agility for Hidden Power Ice to take care of Gly scores. But I didn't think it through, because this thing is slow as shit, so <laughs> it, I probably should have given it Agility. I don't know. Um, what is he? What is he gonna do? Okay, Ooh, foul play. No, that does nothing. I, I, I'm not scared. I ain't got a trip. Let's go for Thunderbolt again. I don't want to reveal too many moves. Out comes the Togekiss. No, they could have just one shot me with the Togekiss, but all, all right. Let's go for Thunderbolt. They missed the Hydro Pump. Perfect. Ooh, that does a nice amount. Thunderbolt again. Yes, perfect. And I think we should win this, because I'm going to go to the Uxi if uh, I die, para paralyze them, and I should be able to just flinch them to death, hopefully. So let's go for the Thunderbolt. Nope, we die. That's all right. Go to the Uxi. I'm just thinking. It's more reliable to use Memento, because they'll do less damage and heal less. Because... <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna go for the me Memento and just to prevent them from healing off on my HP. I don't want them going back to 100%. So I'm gonna go to the Lycanroc here and just spam Iron Head. And I think we should win here, right? Yeah, we do. All right, GG, well played, bud. And that, this was a long battle, so I think that's a good way to end off the video. Uh, so thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content. And if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there to the like button and click it so that this video can circulate and you know more people can see it. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another video? And if not, I'll see you in the next one.